Well, hello there, folks. Welcome to Coffee Thoughts Podcast. My name is Braden Berry. I'll be your host. And uh, I just want to say thank you for tuning in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for listening. Hope you guys are having a great week. So before I get into the podcast, as usual, I'm just going to do a couple of updates here. But first, take a delicious sip of this Starbucks. A lot of people ask me what I take in my coffee, and I drink black coffee, and I always get um, iced coffee. Just prefer that, and uh, yeah, so in case anyone cared or was wondering, that's what I drink. So, now that that's out of the way, a couple updates here. A uh, new episode of the Gentleman's Stoner should be out soon. We have two more scenes to film, so we're going to do that this weekend, and hopefully it can be out by next Friday. Um, just wrapped up filming for another show called Purple Turtle which I had the honor of being a part of, so keep you updated on that. It was really fun. A lot of fun to film, and uh, it's my first time like doing, being a part of like another production, and that was that was a really awesome experience. And um, yeah, new music will be coming out in the fall. I'm probably gonna drop um, the first single from the Nosebleed EP in September. That's kind of my plan, and uh, with the music video, and then release the rest in the fall, or sorry, in October. Because that's uh, it's like one of my favorite months of the year. So, like October, November, December is like my three favorite months of the year. So, I'll probably space it out within that time frame. Um, and oh, also, if anybody's interested, I made a Cameo account. So, if you don't know what Cameo is, it's basically an app where you can book, you know, artists or musicians or actors, whatever, whoever has an account to do like personalized shout outs for your friends or for you or for, you know, birthdays, whatever. Um, so if anybody's interested in that, that's an option. The link is below. Um, and also, I've been doing live streams pretty much every night that I'm home on YouNow, so make sure to follow my YouNow. And if you've sent me a message on my app, um, I'm still working on catching up, but I'm, I'm pretty I'm pretty close now. So if you want to if you want to download my app, it's free. And once I have more music coming out, I'll you know I'll post post updates on there and whatnot. So that's pretty much it. Let's get into the freaking episode. So, um, today I wanted to talk about, um, I guess just kind of a topic that I, I probably brushed on. I know I did an episode called Why the Future Doesn't Actually Exist, and I've talked about, you know, just anxiety in general and that kind of thing, but I know a lot of people struggle with this specifically still, so I kind of wanted to dedicate an episode to speaking on this, whatever kind of ends up coming out. Um, also, before I forget, I am planning on touring next year. That was something I forgot to say, because a lot of people have been asking if I'm going to tour. Yes, I am, and I'm working on planning that. Okay, now let's let's talk about what I want to talk about. So I'd like to I'd like to discuss today a little bit about um, letting go of the past or making peace with the past. I guess is another way you can kind of word it. And I know this is like a massive. Um, obstacle for a lot of people and I know for myself it's been a massive obstacle in my life too um, and I don't know I, I w I've been watching some like Russell Brandt videos he started making a bunch of like you know almost like mini podcast style videos where he talks about you know this, these kind of topics and they've been really insightful and it, I like what I like about his videos is he always talks about like yo like I went through this like I've been through this I've seen the shitty parts of this and you know, I just, I like when people are open about that kind of thing, so, like, for me, like, you know, holding on to the past has been, like, a massive, you know, issue in my life, like, it's something that I, I dealt with and struggled with for years, like, absolutely, like, years, and it, it, you know, had an effect on my well-being, had an effect on my relationships, had an effect on the people that I was close with, had an effect on my music, had an effect on everything, like, it's, it was probably the biggest challenge that I had to overcome within myself, and I feel like I only did that, um, last, you know, kind of November, December, and I, I made an episode uh, a couple episodes ago just about my experience with um, psilocybin mushrooms, and that that was just a very, had a very big part of helping me um, detach from that shit, um, because I just, I was able to kind of see things that I didn't see before that I was holding on to, and anyway, you can watch the episode if you're interested, but ultimately, I, I'm, I'm at a place where I feel like I, I was able to, at least the majority of, you know, the time, like just kind of like alleviate that that issue for myself. Like I don't I don't find myself like worrying about the past anymore. I don't really find myself thinking about the past too much. Um, 
and so I feel like that's like na my natural state is no longer like living in that, and it was for a long time. And uh, <clears throat> I know that a lot of people struggle with this, you know, and it's it's because when things happen to you, you know, they program you, and it's like if you have if you have bad things happen to you or things that hurt you, you know, you you're wired to expect that shit now. You know, it's like if you go through a traumatic experience. Um, and and especially if you don't fully understand it, because I think that's part of the, where the problem is. When you when you go through something, and it deeply impacts you, and then you don't fully understand the situation, and you've just kind of tried to ignore it and push it aside and forget about it, you're always subconsciously kind of looking for that, you know, because your brain or your emotions or whatever the hell it is, it just it didn't fully understand that what happened to you. It didn't it didn't have the chance to fully process it and map it out. So it's looking for it, you know, still, because. If you think about it on like a very fundamental kind of level, like let's just say, I don't know, let's just say there's like a caveman hunting in the in the forest. Like there's he's hunting for some little freaking apples, and there's like a tiger. That tiger comes out and attacks him, and you know he doesn't get killed, but the tiger runs away. So he he didn't he didn't get to kill the tiger. He didn't get to see where the tiger went. So the tiger just ran away. So now every time he goes hunting in the forest for some apples, he's like, his brain is like, well, there could be something dangerous, and there is something dangerous because we don't know, we don't know where the tiger went. The tiger's not dead, so there's like something dangerous there now. And it's like the same thing. I know it's kind of like a lame example, but when you think about it, when something happens to your systems that like hurts you or you know shakes up your your identity or your your sense of survival. If you don't fully come to terms with it, you don't fully like map it out or try, or understand what happened. There's a part of you that's kind of always on the on alert for that, and like when when that's happening, because it's like there there's still the danger out there because I didn't resolve the danger, I didn't like resolve what happens. So you're always kind of assuming that it's still out there. I don't know if that, that makes sense. I don't know if I did the best job of wording that, but when you think about it from that point of view, it makes sense. So I think like what ends up happening is you you keep kind of reliving that situation whatever it might be whatever it might be like a bad breakup like somebody cheating on you somebody like you know leaving your life or like somebody like anything and and you you just kind of assume that it's going to keep happening and you you look at cur your current situation through that through the lens of of that those beliefs and that and that fear so what ends up happening like you don't mean to but like you end up a lot of time attracting it again because you know what you're constantly thinking about and what you're constantly feeling because not only are you thinking about it you're feeling that fear you know it's like you are you are feeling that fear even though it's not there so what ends up happening is your that is your vibration that fear is is your state of being and that's what you're attracting you know that the universe sees that feels that and it's like okay that's that's what that's what you want here's here's more of that and it just confirms itself it's like man how how often, like when you assume bad things are going to happen, how often do they actually happen? A lot of the time they do because <coughs> you're attracting them because that you're constantly afraid and you're constantly worrying and you're constantly, you know, having anxiety and you're, you're playing these scenarios in your head and you literally just attract them. So it's, it's important to, to, to at least notice that because the first step to, to correct any of this stuff is, is just being aware that you're doing it. And it's like when you come into a new situation, <clears throat> excuse me, I think like a relationship is a good kind of easy example. It's like when you, you know, whether it's romantic or not, like it doesn't matter. Um, like when you meet somebody that you, you really vibe with, you really like, you really want to have them in your life. And then, and then what happens is like you feel that feeling of like, man, I'm so happy. Like I'm so happy when I'm with this person. I'm so happy that I met this person. And then you think, wait a minute. I felt this before, but then the person that I felt it with left and they hurt me and now I'm afraid that it's going to happen again. And so you start to kind of develop that, like every time you feel that happiness, you also feel that sense of fear and that sense of grief and that sense of like, oh shit, I don't want this to happen. So you start, you start seeing that <clears throat> situation through the lens of fear. And then what ends up happening is you act that out, like you act that fear out and you don't even realize you're doing it. You start to like act differently because you're afraid of losing that thing you start to you know talk differently maybe you start to just like 
get upset about sh certain shit because <clears throat> I don't know. You're just always looking for that. You're you don't realize you're doing it, but you're looking for things to confirm to you that that's gonna happen to you again. And so this is why, like, and this can happen to any situation in your life. And I, I'm in like a like I'll just give you a quick example of like where I'm at. <clears throat> I had a you know I had an opportunity many years ago to you know to, for a business deal business thing, and I decided to go do it. And I had some really you know bad experiences with it with it that affected me very deeply and that but I mean looking back it was my you know be, because of my own decisions so I'm not blaming anyone but the whole period of, of that was very like deeply kind of you know fucked me up for sure and, and it caused me to, to doubt myself a lot and it kind of shifted my beliefs and it, and it it just introduced a lot of self-doubt and insecurity to me and now I'm also like I'm at a position now completely different like situation but I also have an opportunity in front of me and uh, you know I there's bits of that coming back now it's like alright do I do this or do I not do I walk away and it's like I, I'm catching myself you know looking back on what happened and being afraid of like oh this could go wrong and this could go wrong and I'm so thankful that I'm like able to just see myself doing that because I'm not I'm not like necessarily attaching myself to those thoughts I'm just seeing them happen and it's interesting and it's freeing when you see that happen because you're like, it makes sense. Like I get, I get why that's happening, but like that doesn't actually mean anything. It's like this could be the most fucking amazing thing ever. Like I don't know. So that's just one thing lately I've been noticing. Um, but anyway, so I just think it's really important to kind of catch yourself doing this and realize that like when when you're constantly like focusing on what happened before, which you know, again, kind of begs like the more fundamental question. It's like, when did that really happen? I do have an episode called Why the Future Doesn't Actually Exist, um, and I think I talked about some of this kind of shit, but like, when you think about it, man, it's like, right now, this moment is literally all that there is, completely. The past, all the things that you think happened to you and happened in your life and your story is nothing but a concept, it's nothing but imagination now, because it's not happening right now, and it's like, even when it was happening, supposedly, it was just right now. It was just this moment. Like, really just think about that for a second because that's very important to understand is that your past does not exist. It's not real. It's not, it's, it's nothing but a concept. It's nothing but ideas. It's nothing but a story now because it's not happening. So you need to also realize that. It's like by allowing these kind of like, you know, scenarios that you play on your head and like these stories and this this concept of like all these things that happen to you and to your ego and to your identity to to determine how this moment is it's it's um it just creates chaos you know it, it can't it can't it doesn't do anything good because what's happening is you're trying to bring all this baggage drag you're dragging this massive chain of like all this baggage and all these like boulders and like these weights and you're trying to like enjoy your current moment and you can't you can't see any any situation clearly when you're because it's like even if you get excited about something you're just like excited and you're like oh wait a minute gotta pull this chain with me gotta like bring all this shit with me and you can't you can't ever like see a situation for what it is because you have all the shit that you you have to pull behind you and that weighs you down and drains your energy and causes you to just feel completely different about the situation so here's the thing here's the awesome thing is that at any time, any time you want, you can just let go. You can just let go of that chain. You don't have to carry it. You just don't have to. And you're going to convince yourself and tell yourself that yes, you do, but you don't. You don't. And once you've come fully accept that, life is fucking amazing because you, you realize that you can approach every situation in every moment as a brand new potential experience and something that you've never experienced before and you don't know where it's going to lead you and you don't know how amazing it could be and that all the assumptions you make about those situations come from this place that's like this deep dark place in your mind that has isn't has no grounding it's not real until you make it real until you bring bring that shit back into your present reality it's not real and it doesn't have to exist and you don't have to do that so just know that anytime you're holding on to the past and this could even be something like you know if your family member did something to you when you were a kid and you don't talk to them now because you're so pissed off about what happened 10 years ago it's like man it's like you're bringing this imaginary thing that happened that's over with it's not happening anymore and you're putting it right here you're putting it here you are you are deciding to take that and put it here no one else is doing that you are 
And by doing that, you're, you know, like, let's just say, like, maybe 10 years has gone by and that person is completely different now. And, or maybe that person is, like, in a really shitty spot and just, like, needs to know that, like, someone cares. You don't know. Or maybe, like, you can relate to them in a whole new way that you could have a great relationship now. You don't know. So if you allow, like, the past to to be, you know, this thing that you bring with you everywhere, you just, you, you miss out on, like, potentially beautiful shit man and I've I've gone through that so many times in my life and I, I've, I've made that mistake many many times in my life and I got so fucking sick and tired of it because it kind of got to the point where I was like I don't even, I know that I do this and I don't want to do this but it's like kind of felt like this thing that like I couldn't control and I had to really be honest about that with myself and be like man like you you need to figure this shit out because it's ruining your life and it's ruining a lot of good things in your life and like it you know, it was always such a massive problem, and, um, so I, I just, like, I know, I know how it is, man, I know how it is to, like, let that shit determine your, your happiness, because I did it for, like, years and years and years, and, um, honestly, though, it's, like, ultimately, like, you just, you just gotta realize, like, every moment, every relationship, every experience, every, everything could be, like, the best fucking thing ever, if you just allow it to be what it is and don't worry about what might have happened before in your life or what could happen because all that matters, all you have is right this second. It's all there ever is, all there ever was, all there ever will be. And it's goddamn true. So, don't worry. Don't worry so much. I guess that was kind of a brief, a little brief one, but I feel like that was what I wanted to say about it, you know? Don't, uh, don't get caught up in the stories because that's all, that's where anxiety lives, that's where fear lives, that's where worry lives. It lives in your head. And when you bring, when you make that shit real, then you experience it. And you don't have to experience it, you know? You just gotta know, it's like, when you're worrying all the time and when you're thinking about the bad shit that could happen, number one, you're attracting it. So stop doing that shit because it's gonna happen. And you're gonna say, well, see it happen. And it's like, yeah, it did happen because you believed it was gonna happen. You need to understand that is a fucking law of the universe and that doesn't change no matter who you are or what you do. So you need to understand that shit and you need to be careful because you're going to attract the shit that you're always thinking about and always telling yourself. And thankfully there's like, you know, there's a time window. So it's like you can you can stop the momentum and change you can shift it. It's not like you think of something bad and it's going to happen like that. No, you have you have the ability to to you know, just stop the momentum and change it into a more positive direction. But like, that's one thing you gotta remember. And secondly, anxiety and fear and all that shit, it's like 99% of the time you're safe. Like, just honestly, let's be honest with yourself. Like, you're safe, you know? I could be sitting here right now. I'm just making a podcast in my room. I got a coffee. I got like, you know, a cozy ass little room and, and I know that like I have a bed there. I just wanna sleep all day. I'll fucking sleep. Like, if I'm hungry, I can go find some food. Like, I'm safe. But I could be sitting here and thinking about all the bad shit that happened in my life and all the bad shit that's going to happen and just, like, everything could feel like shit and I could have a panic attack. But it's, it's like, that shit happens when you create it and when you're always living in that. Because you can either live up there or you can live here, wherever you are, whatever you're doing right now. It's like, be honest about the moment right now. Are you safe? I'm going to guess, like, 99% of the time, yeah. Is there actually anything wrong right this second? Except for the shit that's happening up here. Probably not. Probably not, you know? I, and I guarantee, if you're in a room that you don't like, then you can walk 10 feet and find a room that you like more. You can go find a little park to sit in. Like, there's nothing wrong until you make something wrong. And that's what happens, like, we self-sabotage shit in our lives. And, you know, part of the reason that happens is because the ego doesn't like to change. It likes to, it likes to stay where it is. It likes to keep you where it is. And it likes to to relive the shit that happened because it has a certain set of belief systems and a, a certain thing that it ha of how it sees itself and it it doesn't like to change that because that means it has to die and that means it has to fall apart and it doesn't like to do that and so you got to realize that that you're you're trying to relive this shit because for a very like deep dark kind of reason it and like to me the easiest way to to look at it is that there's literally another being that lives inside you that's always trying to sabotage you and you have to be aware of it there's nothing you can do about it necessarily but you, you don't have to live through it all the time be aware that it's there and you know just 
awareness is everything. Building your perspective is everything. Like the more you understand these things, the more you can at least just like observe them happening. Because that's you know, seeing things from a broader perspective is kind of how you detach and how you how you kind of like transcend shit. Because once you see something and you know something, you can't unknow it. It's just it's just not how it works. So once you understand that you're creating this shit for yourself most of the time. You, you kind of just eventually like get to the point where you're like, alright, like, I'm just doing this, I, I need to stop, I, don't, I, I can just let go, like, just fucking let go of the bullshit, let go of the chain, let go of the baggage, like, it's gone, it's done, there's new shit here right this second, potential, endless potential, you are a conscious being that has power beyond what you can even fucking imagine or what we can ever perceive as humans and you need to harness that shit like realize that you are a creator and life is life depends on you to exist if like you <clears throat> if you didn't perceive life it wouldn't be there so you like in a way like generate the whole fucking thing and it's all you and it's like it's just infinite potential and when you allow like the shitty things that happen in your life to constantly mold the moment for you you're missing out you know, and we all do it, we all do it, and we've all been there, we're all going to be there, but just catch yourself and practice, like, wow, you know what, right now, I actually don't have to be the person that I was 10 years ago, or even two days ago, I can start shaping myself into somebody new, I can start doing shit that makes me happy, I can start working towards something, I don't know what can happen, you know, you can shift the direction of the river in your mind, you, you don't have to always allow it to fucking you know, pull you right back to where you were, you can say, actually, like, you, you just realize, like, you actually have control of the fucking current, you do, it's like, you're, you're sitting there on a raft, like, we <laughs> fucking praying that you make the shore, and, like, praying that you don't get lost in the ocean, and f fighting for your life, and choking on water, and so you gotta take a minute and realize, like, you are the fucking river, you control that shit, you know, so, yeah, Hope that made sense. I hope that uh, hope that helps somebody. You know, I know I know how much of a problem it can be, and I know I know it sucks when you got it when you're constantly dealing with that. Because I mean, a lot of times it's like when you when you make stupid decisions, and when you when you do let the past affect your present, you don't want to do that. It's not like you wake up and you're like, oh, I'm gonna sabotage my fucking life. I'm gonna I'm gonna like you know ruin all the good things in my life. You don't wake up and like decide that. It just it happens, and you're like. Why the fuck did I do that? Why the fuck did I say that? Why did I do, like, you know? So there's a part of you that knows that, that you don't need to do that. And maybe just in hindsight you see that, but there's a part of you that knows. So live through that part of you and, and focus on that part of you because that part of you is watching it happen. And that's like a part of you that's always there. So just try, you know, just, just give it a go. Give it a go. All right, guys, well, that's it for this episode. Thank you for watching or listening. I really appreciate the love and thank you for all the all the new subscribers who have been subscribing to my YouTube channel. I really appreciate it, guys. Um, and for everyone who streamed my new song, Walking Disaster, thank you. Um, new music is coming soon and we'll keep doing the thing, you know? So I love you guys. Stay cozy and I will see you next week. Peace.